What's up you guys, Nicola Maserati here. Today is a wonderful day, it's Saturday. I've got my coffee and I am ready to go. So this morning I woke up and I was dragging like crazy. So I decided to go to this coffee shop near my house called Augie's Coffee House. If you guys are anywhere near Temecula or in California, they have a bunch of Augie's around. I definitely recommend you go check them out. I walked in there and I asked them, give me your strongest iced coffee that you have. He said, well, we have our cold brew. It's about 200 milligrams of caffeine. And I said, okay, but can you throw an extra shot of espresso in there? He was like, are you sure, dude? And I'm like, yes, I am sure, dude. So I am caffeinated out of my mind today, but that's totally cool because I'm gonna be super high energy for you guys. Hopefully you don't turn it off because I'm like too crazy high energy. So one of my most recent videos of how to make your videos look cinematic part three, I talked about color. And in that video, I gave away my orange and teal LUT. If you guys haven't downloaded it yet, I'll leave the link to the LUT in the description. It's completely free. And one of the questions I got from a ton of you guys was how do I create my own custom LUTs? So today, that's what we're gonna be talking about. But before we get into it, let's run that intro. <sighs> All right guys, so like I said, today we're gonna learn how to create your own custom LUT in Lightroom CC. Super easy, you don't have to spend any money, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right guys, so this is gonna be the program that you need to download to create your own custom LUT in Lightroom CC. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, that way you can download it. It's completely free and super easy to do. So once you have that downloaded, open it up, and then you're going to go to Lightroom. So I have this photo that I've already edited and you can see the before and the after just there. So before you get started, there's gonna be a few things that you wanna make sure is unchecked in your settings here. So the first thing that you wanna make sure is unchecked is detail. So as you can see, I already have that unchecked. So make sure detail is unselected. The second one is lens correction and the third one is effects. So once you have all those unchecked, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go right to your image and you're gonna right click on your image. Then you're gonna go to settings, copy setting, and as you can see, we have some things that are checked and some things that are unchecked. So what you wanna make sure is checked is pretty much everything that you see here. White balance, basic tone, tone curve, treatment, color, split toning, transform, process version, and calibration. Leave everything else unchecked. Then you're just gonna to go to copy, minimize Lightroom. So once you have all those settings copied, you're gonna open up your LUT generator and you're gonna to go to generate HALB. Click that, choose the destination to where it's gonna to save to, hit OK, and you can see right here it pops up. So once it's been generated there on your desktop, you're gonna go back to Lightroom, and we're gonna import that. So you're gonna to go to File, Import, there it is. So you wanna make sure that's checked, hit Import, and there it is just there. Now we're gonna to go to Develop, you're gonna right click, go to Settings again, and Paste Settings. So once you've pasted the settings, you should see it change. You're gonna to go to File again, Go down to export, and now our export settings pop up. So we're gonna name it LUT for YouTube. That's just what I named it. Everything looks good here. The resolution you wanna make sure is at 72, and that should be good. So we're gonna hit export. Once it's exported to your desktop, you're gonna go back to your LUT generator program, hit convert to cube. You're gonna use the image that you just exported, and then when it's done, you will have your custom LUT right here. Now, once you have that LUT created, all you're gonna do is import that into Premiere, and you're gonna be good to go. And if you guys aren't sure how to import LUTs into Adobe Premiere Pro, watch my video, I'm gonna leave it right here, of how to make your videos look cinematic, part three. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button below. It really helps me out, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.